Dr. Livingstone, I presume. Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we travel to Africa. In 1866, the explorer David Livingstone ventured into the heart of Africa in search of the sources of the Nile and was not heard from again for years. Finally, in 1869, the New York Herald sent another explorer, Henry Morton Stanley, to find him by following the traces of his expedition. After more than a year of searching, in November 1871, Stanley arrived at the shores of Lake Tanganyika in a village known as Ujiji in present-day Tanzania. Seeing a lone white man, he approached him and uttered his famous greeting, Dr. Livingstone, I presume. It could hardly be anyone else. Livingstone had fallen gravely ill due to malaria. Stanley asked him to leave Africa, but the former was not willing to go without having achieved his goal of finding the sources of the Nile. The two became friends and explored Lake Tanganyika together, after which Stanley left alone in March 1872. Livingstone continued to explore the rivers of Africa despite his delicate health. Malaria was complicated by a case of dysentery that took him to his grave on May 1, 1873. His body was preserved in salt and repatriated, but his heart was buried under a tree because, according to him, it belonged to Africa. The impact of the explorations of Livingstone and Stanley was significant. They not only greatly expanded the geographical knowledge of Central Africa, but also sparked renewed interest in the region. Livingstone's adventures inspired many missionaries and explorers to follow in his footsteps. While Stanley's accounts helped establish trade and colonial routes in the African continent. Additionally, their expeditions underscored the importance of the fight against slavery in Africa, a cause both explorers fervently supported. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.